Hi. Hi. Oh, hey. We are in Nevada. Tan. Yes. Is taking us on in a surprise adventure. One that you are going to enjoy in no way. I'm excited. In no way. I'm not going to enjoy it. No. We are taking okay. you to. Brace yourself. Rob, drum roll, please. A cloud hotel. Motel. A cloud motel. No, you're not. No, we are. We're you taking... would never stay in a clown motel. You know, just to uh, screw with you, I will stay in a cloud motel. Because I know how much you hate clowns. We're sleeping in the clown motel. I thought this was supposed to be a fun road it is. trip oh, it'll for be great. us. Also, just so you're aware, it's in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere. Like literally the middle of nowhere. You know like the beginning of literally every teen slasher film in the entire world? This is that beginning right now. And then they're gonna find your phone at some point in the future. And um, this is gonna be documented. And they're gonna realize that it was my fault that you died. And like the final scene is gonna be the phone falling on the floor essentially. And then a clown swinging through. And then you drop to the ground and you see you lying there, dead. And then you get dragged off, basically. I'm like getting serious anxiety right now. We'll get through it together. No! Why don't you like clowns? And side note, my skin looks great in this light. Everyone who was a kid in the 90s remembers the movie It. Yes. And didn't sleep for days on end because of It. I saw that movie. As a kid? Uh-huh. And? And slept just fine. Can anyone tell me who John Wayne Gacy is? No one in this car. Was a professional clown and buried children in his basement. So then I was like, you know what? Just don't trust clowns. If you leave me tonight, I will never speak to you again. Well, you won't be able to because they would have killed you. Okay. Oh, it looks real nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. Uh -huh. You guys, I'm not sleeping here. <laughs> it looks pretty amazing. Now we're out to sleep, so you're either sleeping here or in the car. It's really adorable. Guys. I don't know if it's too early to point this out. What? But there's a missing person sign in the window. Oh, oh gosh, there's a lot of clowns in here. <laughs> Brace oh yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Welcome to the Clown Motel. Thanks so much. We have over 600 of these little porcelain clowns here that have been donated from all over the world. Who is the scariest? That is Mr. Creepy. He's sitting there on that chair. And his name is? Uh, Mr. Mr. Creepy. Mr. Creepy. <laughs> I don't advise looking in his eyes. I've already looked in his eyes multiple times. Like, nothing will happen. <laughs> There's no, like, story no, behind his eyes. Nothing will happen. Your soul will be stolen. <laughs> Why are you going to be nice and close? Oh, my gosh. Close. His hands look real. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to hold person? his hand? Hold no, his hand. No, I'm not holding his no, no, hand. No, no, go on. Especially not that hand, because... Oh, his, cup, his fingers get cut off. Missing a couple of fingers. He's missing fingers. Yeah, he is. Bob, what he happened was to Mr. Creepy? That's a, a long story. Careful, I would. He might steal your soul. I had a, a <gasps> bunch of pictures of different clowns, and I said, I like that one. I'm not sure why, but his hand just moved. His hand just moved. <laughs> you saw it that. It literally just moved. I didn't see that. Oh my gosh! I'm get out! <laughs> Bob, <laughs> I heard this that. is a real. I'm not even kidding. I heard it move, but I didn't see it move. <gasps> I didn't have a problem with clowns <laughs> until literally just now. Clowns don't bother you at all? No, not at all. Does this clown scare you at all? Yeah, no, we got... Mar Marlene's been here for a few years. She's seen a lot of things happen here, too. We have a trickster, and he uh, likes to play games with people. Is and he's not always here. And he, he's fun. He's not out to hurt anybody. And um, so, like a trickster clown or a trickster ghost. <laughs> um, we don't know his name or anything. We just know that it is it's some kind of entity, and he's a gentle entity. He's not something that hurts anybody. So we would like to check in. We're gonna take a look at the rooms, and we're gonna just make sure Mike can get through this night alive. Right. So that she can finally feel comfortable with clowns. <laughs> I just need to, her to understand that the clowns aren't gonna kill her. So if she can make it through the night, she can be flying with clowns. Sound good to you? I, 
I don't know if I'll be fine with clowns after this night. You'll be fine with clowns after this. But before we go, I'd like you to just find your favorite clown. Oh. So have a really good look <laughs> in all of their eyes. Um, I'll help you find one. This egg, because it's not a clown. That's your guy. Do you want to take a picture of this one just so you can put it by your bed tonight? Here, hold Actually, it. Actually, if you want to. Yeah, look at that. That's there a you go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hello, children. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I had the best time at that clown motel. Uh, we all did. So be sure to subscribe, like, comment. I want to know what you think. Tell us the weirdest thing you and your friends have ever done together. And look out for part two that will be coming very, very soon.